welcome back, everyone. Hello. So, it's a new week for us. It is. And that means it's time for us to end this. And we're going to fight the Zora Magnarus today, Cameron. We, we are going to see how this goes. Mm-hmm. We, we are going to see the calamity. We're on the hunt. And that's the... Uh, it, it, we're going to see it on the Zora Magnarus' back. Yes. See, uh, yeah, so as you can tell, I have very high hopes. Mm-hmm. That our plan will work flawlessly. And that is hoping that we can drive the monster away. Yes! <laughs> that is, that would be the ideal scenario in this in this case. I like the quest name, a colossal task. Yeah, I, I'd say it's a colossal task. Yes! <laughs> I, I will thoroughly agree with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, you are... Going and making a colossal ass out of a great many people. And you are going to climb said colossal ass. And we're just going to see where the chips land. Never thought of that, though, that like that, but yeah. Yeah, you got a point there. Hmm. But, but what way hadn't you seen it before? Reclining on his colossal ass. Oh, yeah. Never thought I mean, of that I mean, before. He does have a big one. I mean, yeah. we, we, we saw it. Yes. You know, we've jammed things into it, so <laughs> we, we know how big his ass is. Not exactly his ass, more of it where we believe where his zit locations are. <laughs> his the... zit locations. Yeah. yeah, because of those freaking magma rocks. Yeah, the magma rocks we have to destroy, Just... which, which I'm still saying they're like back pimples or something. They really <laughs> are when you have to sit down and think about it. <laughs> I don't know, you just I, look like you were having, like, a, a revelation. I had I had a vision of how this recording session was going to go. Yeah. Never did I expect that we would spend a couple of seconds talking about that. Hey, they are popping, a thing. Yeah. And they more or less they, they are a, a thing. More or less popping them on a giant monster, but, you know. Hey, right. they go through puberty, too. Yep. It's not always pretty. It's, here we go, the commander's giving an epic speech. You know, since we've been doing all this shit, they should let us do it. I mean, they really should, if you think about it. I mean, of course, we're going to stand there and say nothing. Because that's kind of our MO. We're, we're the silent protagonist. Like every video game that has a customizable character. <laughs> well, any reasonable video game with a customizable character. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever seen, like, a game oh, footage? Oh, wait, wait. wait. So, so you want to see the oh. dragon air? Oh. It looks like their ship dislocated a muscle. This is the Dragonair. That's the Dragonair. We'll use it That's the guild's penis back. that we were talking um, about before. Yeah, uh, again. Wow, not exactly subtle on the symbolism, but okay. Because th it, it's been a little while since we last recorded, but at the end of the last episode, Cameron said that we were going to, you know, basically stick, uh, shove our dick into him, basically. Yeah, because he was making this speech like, we're finally going to take him down. And you were like saying pe penetration with our dick. Yeah. And I was like, Cameron, you got to stop doing this. Like, you seriously know how this game goes out. We literally have a weapon that's a giant spike that we jam into the monster at one point. I'm telling you, man. The symbolism is strong. Cameron, I need to go to your house. Yes. I need to find where you're keeping your Monster Hunter world, because I'm convinced you've played this game now. Since you're predicting all this. Yeah, just like I'd seen all of Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you're bringing... <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I'm just talking about a show, all of a sudden it goes from, yeah, you're really gonna like the ending. You know what, Cameron? <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, tried to have fun with this, Try to, you know, enjoy watching a show with my friend, but no. You had to go and f*** it. You had to cross a line with your I know everything attitude, jeez. For those who don't know, I, who grew up watching Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I, I will end up watching the TV shows all at one point. Yes. I stopped since watching Zexel, because mm -hmm. there's like two other series now. Yes. Um, 
So, I watched Zack Soul, and giving credit where credit's due, I never hated the show. You know, people can say what they want about it, but... Uh, you just weren't a fan of the dub. No, I'm, I'm, I'm never a fan of the dub. I think almost any anime can be good, as long as you don't listen to the four kids dubbing. That's... That's my logic on it. I will I will have to second that. I don't want to sound like that kind of pretentious weeb, but that is one show that uh, the dubbing just kind of makes it worse because they totally miscast the main character. Yes. So, anyways, if you want, if you know Zexel, you know you can kind of follow along with this. But to try to explain to those who probably have never seen it before. There's one character on there, and he's sort of like the the main protagonist. Yuma is his name. He's the um, he's Yuma's rival, and they go. His name is Shark. So he uses fish monsters in his deck. Um, at first, he is just a huge asshole, and Cameron, you know, comments one episode is like, "Wow, he is just a giant dick." And I make the comments like, "Yes, he is, but you're gonna figure out why soon." And Ca causing yeah. Cameron to say, he's not trying to be strong for a family member, is he? Of which I knew he was. Cameron hadn't got to that point yet. And I was like, uh, yes, he is, but I bet you can't guess which family member no, he no, is. No, no, you didn't actually say that. It was, um, a actually he is, but, but I'm not going to tell you which one or how. That's right. And so then you just go, without missing a beat, not even pondering it, you go... Sister, isn't it? But little sister. But it, but you were wrong in that it was it was an older sister. It was an older sister, yeah. But you said little sister. Yeah. And causing me to say, okay, fine, yes. His little sister, his sister is in the hospital, and he has to be strong for her. Hey, you know what, Cameron? F*** you. <laughs> and I, I, I wanted to emphasize that you did not do this quietly. No. Nope. We were in a dorm room to where our roommates were wondering what the hell was going on <laughs> because it suddenly went from all's well in the world to you know what Cameron F you <laughs> causing me to, to lose laugh it. hysterically yeah you lost it that's one of the few golden moments I could say I made you just burst out laughing because I I I was taken aback by that because I literally just one second it's you know me. You know, playing this, like, guessing game, you know, thinking about what I know about uh, anime, especially anime geared towards this audience, and how the other uh, spin-offs of Yu-Gi-Oh! have gone, uh, and stuff like that, and, you know, just trying to, like, form some solid guesses on what's going on, and then go from guesses to, you know what, Cameron? You. Yeah. It took me 80 episodes to find out that sh and you guessed it after 10. Screw you! And it's not that it took me... It wasn't 80 episodes. It wasn't it's not that it took me that long to figure out. It's whenever I watch a show, I can speculate all the theories I want, but the thing is, I don't know what happens yet. And so basically, I just let my mind wander, or I just ride along until the episode ends. to me. Yeah. You know? But you and your, I know everything about Animus and Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm gonna know the damn answer already! Huh? What can I say? <laughs> I'm a good guesser. So, popping these zits are worse the second time around. It really is, because these things are just spewing lava like no one's business. And they are just... It's kind of gross on the grand scheme of it because, you know, since this is a magma creature, its blood is just getting all over you. Yeah. So, here's the thing. You could say I can move out of the way and everything. It's like, if I went back after every time I hit the zit, it's going to take me forever to do the amount of damage it's going to take to uh, pretty much uh, advance to the next magma. Yeah. And so I'm trying to find the holes of which I can duck and cover around the, I'm just going to say the zit, so that way when it explodes I don't get caught in the, in the blast radius. Exactly. But I haven't found it yet. So it's, it's science and art. Yes. Together. So they're saying binders are ready. So they are 
going to use the one-shot binders to, uh, oh, they just did it right now. So, the Zorbacnos is on hold right now. And you know what's kind of beat up about this whole thing? Oh, wait, and guess who's here? What? Nergigante is here. Aww. It's this thing again. Yep. So this this thing I'm destroying right here, it's not a magma core, but it is a part of him that I can destroy just to, just because I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and take care of it real quick. There we go. I'm, it says parts broken, so that makes me think I'm gonna get more stuff after uh, I complete the quest and everything. Okay. So Nergigante is up ahead, so I think we're gonna take a break here and we're gonna take care of him next time. Okay. Alright, till next time everyone. Later!